tell you a little story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. It's really not that dramatic, but we're gonna make it that dramatic for like a couple minutes. Okay, we're just gonna get a little hyperbolic crazy out in here. I have been patiently, not so patiently, awaiting the arrival of my Pat McGrath lipsticks because I'm a huge fan of Pat McGrath. Her makeup line is fantastic. I still use a lot of the products that came in the Dark Star 06 very frequently. I'm really, really pleased with it. So when she announced the lipsticks, I was like, yes, because I totally missed out on them last time and have been kicking myself ever since. So. Um, I ordered three different lipsticks, one from each of the color family. So I didn't, I got three lipsticks, but I didn't get one of the trios, which means of course I had to spend $120 instead of getting it for 95, whatever. I don't care. Cause I had specific colors that appealed to me, ordered them during the pre-sale, like within like the first minute of the pre-sale, I ordered these and uh, my best friend ordered them at the same time. We live around the corner from each other. So when she got hers, I was like, Oh my God, I'm going to get mine too. I don't know what the heck was up, but my lipsticks were like still in New Jersey when hers were here. I know, dude, shit happens. It's just lipstick. It's not the end of the world. But I love Pat McGrath so much and I was so amped to review these for you and to try them out and I was so jealous because she already had hers. In fact, she put her review up last week so I'll go ahead and have a link to that because they just made me even more excited for these lipsticks and she did this really cool thing where she actually did something on her blog where she showed like the wear throughout the day. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Uh, again, there will be a link in the description or down below to her video. She even offered to like loan me her lipsticks and I'm like, no, I wanna wait till I have my own. I have a different color. Like, I just... One of the reasons why I've been so hyphy about this is because I have a wedding this weekend and so I won't be around to film. And so I'm like, I hope my lipsticks come. I hope my lipsticks come. I hope my lipsticks come. And I had resigned myself to the fact that they weren't coming. I put different makeup on. I'm testing out some different products and stuff. And my husband was leaving to do some grocery shopping and he was like, oh, there's a package here for you. Guess what it was. <laughs> so um, I'm going to open up. In fact, I already kind of, I, I did a little bit because I couldn't help myself. Um, so this is the Pat McGrath lipsticks. They're called the Matrance lipsticks. So I got three colors and they're from three different color families. So I will be opening these up, testing them out, putting them on my lips, doing the whole lipstick thing. So I'm going to start first with one of them from the more like brownie or nudie uh, color family. I don't know how to open this. There's no like notch or anything. So I'm just going to... With everything from the Pat McGrath line, it's packaged in a whole bunch of couture quality sequins, which I will have to find something fun to do with. And then for the lipsticks, they come also in a little gold bag. So each one of these lipsticks was $38, which is a luxury price point, but apparently these lipsticks live up to that. Now, I've already seen these because when my bestie got hers in the mail, she came over and showed them to me and I was like, <laughs> So here is the lipstick tube. You've probably seen it lots of different places. It is nothing short of beautiful and luxurious. Everything about it. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's zoom in. Just absolute luxury. Love the way that it looks. Really excited. And apparently, uh, Pat designed these so if you twist up the gold, the lipstick just comes straight up. And that way when you're applying them, like in the mirror, you're looking at the lips as you're applying your lipstick. So this shade is Flesh 3. I am super excited about this color. There's no smell, which you guys know I'm like super like picky about smells in lipstick. Basically, I just don't want there to be any smell in my lipstick. So I have nothing, nothing of note anyway on my lips. A little bit of my like powder from applying my makeup and stuff, but whatever. Okay guys, this is the first reaction. I really like that color. So I just kind of wanted to see like how much color would transfer. That's almost opaque. And that's just like swiping on the top and then transferring it to the bottom. <gasps> Ooh, that does like fun stuff with my eye color. I love wearing browns like this. And I think that this does a really good job of not making my teeth look yellow, which some brown lipsticks can do. Probably should have brought a lip, a lip brush with me downstairs, but I didn't. Okay guys, so bit of a sloppy application, that's my bad, but I'm gonna remove this with some Bioderma and try it again. I really like how that didn't stain my lips. 
Ooh, I really like that. Take two. Okay, there I have it on a bit more properly. Flesh is a beautiful, deep, rosy brown. And the best way to describe the texture that I feel when I'm wearing this is it feels like I have nothing on. It feels very, very lightweight, maybe um, almost like I had put some like powder over my lips. Not really like I have lipstick on. It's very lightweight. It doesn't seem to set. Um, I've been wearing this now for a couple minutes and it's not drying down. So definitely like if I were to like wipe my hand across, I would smear it all over my face. So something to keep in mind, these might be a little bit more high maintenance than you're used to if you're used to more of a liquid lip. I personally really like a traditional lipstick. I find them really easy to reapply and just comfortable to wear and they don't dry my lips out as much. Can't really speak to whether or not these are drying yet because I've only had them all of 20 minutes, but so far I'm really, really happy. Beautiful red, oh. Okay. Here we go. <gasps> That's a sloppy application on my part because my lips aren't even, but <laughs> this color. This one's even softer than flesh. This one just gl glid, glided. It went on my lips like butter. Need a lip brush. Oh my god, this is so pretty. <gasps> ah! New favorite red. Maybe. I'm thinking. Okay. This is what I love about these lipsticks. First of all, this color is literally everything. Do you see how white my teeth look? And my teeth are decidedly not white. I drink a lot of coffee. Um, and it's also giving me good coverage on my lip scar. You can still see the light hitting it, like when I face towards the light. When I slightly kind of move you know, away from the direct light, the scar basically disappears except for just a little bit right there. But that really can't be helped. Nothing ever actually makes it look completely gone, but this gives me opaque coverage, which I really like. And oh my god, this is my new favorite red lipstick. 100% hands down. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Like, I don't even want to try on the other one. I mean, I do. <laughs> but um, I don't want to take this one off. It is so beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> I have not been this excited about a red lipstick in a really long time. And... You know, I already know that people are going to ask me whether I prefer this or the Christian Louboutin. And granted, I've had the Christian Louboutin longer, so I've had more time to test it out. And this is still brand new lipstick love. So it could just be like me being drunk on new lipstick. But I think I like this one better. Um, just the texture is so beautiful. I'm going to do another little coat. It's so buttery and I love a matte lipstick. And what I love is this is so matte, but it's not drying at all. It feels so creamy. It feels like a buttery lip balm with like a little bit of powder kind of added into the mix. What I'm doing between each color is just taking my beauty blender, which is a little bit of my foundation from earlier on, and a bit of powder to just kind of knock down the kind of redness that can happen, just irritation and whatnot. And also because my... my can't talk my foundation has sort of like peeled away from my lip area from all the remover I'm not using primer or lip liner or anything like that because I just want to see how these lipsticks react on their own so the final color that I have to share with you guys today is McMenemy and I am so excited because this one is a nice dark vampy like burgundy like I don't even know what you would call this it's this color so let's go ahead and put it on my lips the light is fading so I like it looks fine on camera but like in person I have very dim light to work with so I'm gonna start my god on lip for this one <gasps> okay <laughs> like pull your shit together and put it on I'm getting texts from my best friend right now who's like oh my god what do you think how are you liking it wow okay 
Now my foundation's starting to break up a bit, but you can see how it almost has like a fuzzy look. <sighs> Granted, this is the last lipstick that I've tried on, so my lips are not crisp, and this tends to kind of happen towards the end of a lipstick application, um, especially like any kind of swatch fest, and I've done sometimes as much as like 75 lipstick swatches in a day, so I get it. But this was three, so I know that this, and none of these lipsticks have stained me either. You've seen that they've come completely cleanly off, which is so impressive. Um, but, so that, that lets me know, so all that information lets me know that the red kind of fuzzy blurriness around the edges is either intentional or it's just kind of the way that it is because of the pigment, but it's definitely because of the lipstick. It's not from any outside other factors because I've completely removed them in between each color and I haven't had any staining. staining. With that said, um, from far away, you don't see that. It's only really up close that you see that kind of, um, like fuzzy borders, if you will. This would be helped if you use something like Vino or even like Night Moth lipstick or lip liner from MAC. I think both of those would really counterbalance this color really well. Once you fussed and fiddled with it, it's quite lovely. Um, I am having like a little like weird redness mark here, but I think that that's just because I don't have foundation there anymore. Like I'm looking at it up close in the mirror and the lipstick isn't feathering or bleeding into like lip lines or anything. Final thoughts for this review. Do I think that it was worth $38 each for these lipsticks? Yes. The packaging is beautiful. It's heavy, but not like cumbersome. It's just got a nice like hefty weight to it. The beautiful gold lips on the front are just gorgeous. I love the elegance of the packaging. It is nothing short of absolutely gorgeous. I love this little like two, double band of gold right there. It's just, it's like jewelry. And I love the fact that if you twist up the gold part, the lipstick comes out straight. But if you twist it with the black, it will twist the lipstick. So keep that in mind if you want to keep it up straight. These are absolutely a luxury lipstick. They have no weird scent, taste, smell, which I am so thankful for because so many like luxury lipsticks are perfumed and it's just like, ugh. all three of them made my teeth look whiter. I don't know what that's about, but I am here for it um, because I do not have super white teeth and I don't get them bleached and I don't, you know, I'm just a person and so like I have flaws and this actually helps me feel a little bit better about my teeth. I still think that my favorite is Ellison and that would be the number one lipstick that I'd recommend from this range because that color, like just, I don't even know the sound that I made. I don't know if I sighed or grunted. But either way, I, I like made an audible noise and I was a little bit embarrassed and I was like, whatever, that's just my raw reaction to this lipstick. The final question is, will McMenemy stain my lips when I take it off? Because I've taken all the other ones off and they haven't stained, so let's see. My lips look weird, again, because I, you know, like it's removing my foundation, so I'm going to do the same thing I did with all the others or bounce my powder on. And... There's maybe like a smidge of staining, but honestly, I really can't even tell if my lips are just like annoyed or if there's a little bit of staining, especially like out here. Um, but with a lipstick that dark and that intense, the fact that this is what I'm left with is really, really impressive. So definitely recommend them if they are still available. I will have links to the Sephora website. That is my review of the Pat McGrath Matte Trance Lipsticks. I am so happy they finally came. I have just been like a puppy dog waiting for these to come and they finally came and I'm so happy. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that this is helpful for some of you who had questions about these and I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Remember to be vintage or tacky, just be your own kind of beautiful. See you, bye.